Welcome to round one. Uh, we would like to play first, and sadly, this is not a good enough hand. I mean, if say this thing was a mountain, then it's gonna, then it would be a very keepable hand. Uh, right, this I'll keep, even though it's yeah, don't really want to go down to to four here, to, to five that is. Still in lands. Let's hope we hit him. If we do, we should be okay, I guess. Alright, well, that is certainly good, because if we draw into a land next turn... Oh, we have an unknown? No, he did. If we draw into a land next turn, we can be attacking with a hasted 3-3 flyer. Which would be pretty great. Alright, gold mirror. Come on, land. One time. Alright. There we go. It also has a shroud, which should be excellent for us here. Hopefully he doesn't have an artifact removal spell here. And if that's the case, we should should win this one. It's a very good start. <clears throat> See what he's got. Actually, blue white. That mirror was not an off color mirror. Okay, so he's gonna be able to give flying to his guy, but still, he's gonna need alternate assistance to actually uh, do something to my guy here. So, let's attack, I think, and play the Goblin Striker, which we cannot attack with. I'm also not going to move the, the lightning weaves around to the goblin striker because there's no reason to. Uh, doing so would allow him a, a window of opportunity to actually uh, get rid of our sky hunter cub. We've drawn to a, a, a planes here to be able to play a second flyer and of course he has a few turns here to muster up a defense against my, my flying cub here with shroud, uh, shroud flying haste, ooh alright some droplet is ouch, it is, it is annoying, very annoying it's probably the one I passed. <laughs> Likely so. Ooh, alright, so now he has these two here to... Oh man, he did reveal a wizard replica, so he's... Yeah, he's, he's been fine here. So, will he attack with the Cobalt Queen? I guess he could. Yeah, that would be okay, I guess. Attacking with it. He's not gonna block my... Skyhunter curve at this point, anyway. Alright. Very annoying card, Sun Droplet. Okay, well, let's attack in the air here and then cast a Dusk Worker. He's going to keep removing. You know, gaining gain, gain life with his Sun Droplet, it's gonna be... Oh... It's gonna be quite annoying, <laughs> if I do say so. I guess I would really want here something like a, a Goblin Sharpshooter. I could even give it haste. To get rid of that one on fire he has. Okay... Dust Worker is, is, is going to be a fine card for us here too, because he won't be able to really block it well, you know? So is he going to uh, play the Wizard Replica? Probably. No, just the new rock spy. 
All right. Okay, we could double block, but we don't really want to, do we? I guess he, he decided that with a Sun Droplet, he might as well try to race me, right? And this thing flies too, right? Ouch. He counters unless I pay two, sure. Okay. Ah, that's annoying. But oh well. Let's attack with our team here. See what happens. Okay. Let's do this. Let's kill his guy there. At least uh, we won't be, you know, we won't meet a, a, a counter spell for our future spells here. So that's fine. Oh, ouch. He's got the Luminous Angel, man. The one I passed. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to beat that. Well, there's that. Let's <laughs> cast it. Equip. Oh, yeah. Just a second. Uh, let's move this around. Then equip it. Uh, then we could even... Yeah, let's... Bring that there. And then I could attack with just this guy. Right, as I thought he didn't block. I guess I can. Yeah, I can do that. I guess I had a, a, a very nice start, but I didn't draw lands, and I, uh, you know, if I had, had played the Skyhunter Patrol early on, then that would be quite good for me. What did it do? Oh, Thoughtcast. Sure. He's being very conservative here with his attacks. If I were him, I would be attacking with pretty much my team here. Is he going to pay two for that guy? He is. Sure. This way he has me dead in two turns. Okay. <clears throat> Alpha mirror. Sure. All right, well. I don't think there's anything I can do here, so I might as well just concede. I have to, to kill him before he's, he's able to, to play a big bomb. Is that anything I want to bring in here? Inside war? Maybe an inside war. Inside war is a, is a nice way to get rid of a, of a stalemate. I could take out what? The scimitar? I don't think so. Maybe the mender. Yeah, mender seems bad. Huh? Let's see if game two is, is goes better for us. Again, we would like to play first, and we, we would also like to not mulligan. And yes, well, well, I think he's gonna have a hard time beating this. <laughs> Yes, I'm going to keep. Hopefully he doesn't counter it. So let's start with a Bone Splitter, then a Lightning Greaves. <clears throat> I 
I don't really want to play the Spike Shot go uh, Goblin on turn 3 because I really want to do everything in the same turn, you know? Uh, I want to play it, equip it with the Bone Splitter and then equip it with the Lightning Greaves. That would be awesome. So hopefully he taps out here and then he's gonna be, he's gonna have a really hard time dealing with this. <clears throat> if he doesn't tap out, I'm not running my Spike Shot Goblin. All right, excellent. So let's equip here and equip here. And now we're going to attack. Next turn we can start taking out his 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 guys there. <clears throat> What else he's got? He's probably gonna attack with both, since, you know, no reason leaving guys back here in this situation. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna play a planes and say go here. I really want to pick apart his board position, because that's that's the way I think I, I win this. I'm not sure if he has something to make me sacrifice my guy if I attack. I don't think so, right? Uh, uh, wing charge is not in this in this format. Okay, let's try and kill that thing because next turn I'll be able to play something and you know not run into a counter spell. And actually, especially if, if it taps out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play uh, an Ogre Lead Foot and uh, give it haste. Does he have anything else? Alright, a Dusk Worker. So, ooh. That's nice. Uh... Blocked by an artifact creature, destroy that creature. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cast it. I'm gonna grieve it up and attack. So the greaves are going to go back here. The spike shot goblin. And do I kill it right now? I suppose I do because of Thought Seize, right? <clears throat> Alright, as a bone splitter. Which I'm gonna eat with my rust mouth uh, ogre here. Okay. Taking three here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's put this thing here. Let's attack him for a bunch. We could even attack with the Spike Shot Goblin, but no reason to now since he does have mana up and I do not have Shroud on my guy. Yes, let's destroy the Bone Splitter and give Shroud to our guy here. <clears throat> He may have a thought seize, but if he does that, he's just dead. You know, literally dead on board. Well, sure. I'm not gonna block. So 
Let's kill his guy. And uh, I guess now what we can do here is just play the titanium golem for five. And give it haste. And attack with the team. Again, no reason to attack with the spike shot goblin. Goblin, especially because if he has a, uh, a removal spell, he can kill this thing. He's still dead on board. <clears throat> Alright, just considered. Yep, that's the kind of commons we had back in the day. Spike shot goblin. <laughs> okay, so that was fine. But that was also perfect, right? It's, it was a perfect uh, game for us. Perfect draw. I, th I feel like I want to bring in a Farsight Mask. Taking on something like a titanium golem, maybe a clockwork condor. Nah, the titanium golem seems, seems fine. And the reason why I'm bringing in Farsight Mask is because, you know, this match seems like if I don't manage to just kill him right away, uh, he will win the game. And uh, the board position will develop into a stalemate. And he'll probably start attacking me, like, like what happened on, on game one. And if that happens, I would rather be drawing cards. <laughs> uh, welding Jar. Uh, do we have anything else here? Sinking Song, Nuisance Engine, Rule of Law, Sphere of Purity. No, we don't. So, yeah, I think I like this. Hopefully, we get a, a, a crazy draw again here. Involving Spike Shot Goblin. Hmm. That's fine. I like that. Let's keep this. The fact that I also, you know, you know having Lightning Greaves on turn 2 is so insane. Ooh, and a Bone Splitter on turn 1 again. Alright. So it may be happening again for us here. <clears throat> All right, has his gold mirror. Okay, I guess I'll just guess a goblin striker then and attack. Because goblin striker, you know, until I, I get going with my spike shot goblin engine, uh, it's nice that I have you know a, a one one for striker to put a. a a bone splitter on and start attacking him and you know I wouldn't play the, the, the goblin on that you know next turn anyway to try and just protect it all right so let's do this and I guess we can do this and even you know equip the goblin striker If he does not tap out next turn, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast a Clockwork Condor instead of a... Uh, is that a few? At end of combat, right. So he's going to attack me with both and leave mana up. Is that it? Yep. Seems like that's it. So let's cast the, the Condor here. Grieve it up and attack. He may have a, a, a binding beam, blinding beam, I guess. To tap both my guys. <clears throat> but he's taking a bunch of damage here. Going down to 10. It's creature or player, by the way. I gotta remember that. All right, new rock familiar. Ooh, a Viridian Longbow. Wow, that's... That's very annoying. Too bad he's not going to have any creatures to play it on, right? <laughs> Let's see. If he attacks, probably gonna attack with the Dusk Worker because he's not gonna block anything with it. 
it's when it becomes blocked, right? Not when it blocks. Okay. Um, let's attack then with... Oh, he could block here, right? And my guy would, would be dead. So let's uh, just attack with the this guy. <clears throat> See if he's gonna block anything. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to immediately, uh, when I cast the, the Spike Shot Goblin, I'm going to immediately uh, shoot this thing. One, two, three. Because I don't want him having mana. During his turn. <clears throat> so yeah, I guess that that's a way to win games. <laughs> Spike shot goblin. With a bone splitter and a lightning greaves on it. Okay. It's three mana, right? Yeah, that that's an amazing card, by the way. Uh, let's shoot that thing. It's gonna probably, in response, just shoot our Goblin Striker. It's fine. Run three one one for one here. But then, that's what I'm gonna do. Let's grieve this thing up to uh, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we can we can wait wait till next turn. I I, I don't really want to, to get a bone splitter out, out of my spike shot goblin. He's at five, meaning that it's almost dead. Alright, just conceded. You got there. <laughs> See you round two.